In the velocity, velocity selector part of a mass spectrometer, a field of 0.65 teslas, so that's a magnetic field, is used for the magnetic deflection of a beam of protons as they travel at a speed of 1.6 times 10 to the 6 meters per second. So here I've illustrated part of the velocity selector. Now you got to remember a velocity selector is a crossed electric and magnetic field. So I'm starting with the electric field here. So if I've got a series of parallel plates to make a uniform electric field, and imagine the top plate is positive, that creates an electric field that's uniform and down. So my electric field will look like this. Evenly spaced lines from top to bottom. So that's my electric field in yellow. Now if I've got a proton, and I'll put my forces in blue here, the proton is positive, the top plate is positive, the bottom plate is negative, so it would make sense that it's going to experience a repulsion from the top and an attraction towards the bottom, so it's going to have an electric force acting down on it. Now we want this proton to continue in a straight line, that's the point of a velocity selector, there's, it's like there's a little hole right here where only those protons that have just the right speed will actually travel through that hole. So the idea is to keep it straight. So we need to counter that magnetic, sorry, that electric force with a magnetic force that's equal and opposite up. So now remember that's the right hand rule. So the palm of your hand will have to be facing upwards. Your thumb, which is the velocity, because this is a positive charge, will be to the right. And if you orientate your hand correctly, you'll notice that your fingertips will point into the page. So I'm going to get a magnetic field that's into the page. So I'll do that one. Uh, let's see if we can see the black. Oh, let's do it in green. Green will work. So my magnetic field should be into the page. So I should get these X's that represent my magnetic field. And that's going to create my magnetic force. Like that. Now, in terms of dynamics, those two forces are balanced, so that means my net force is zero. And I always just think of that as balanced. So that simply means my magnetic force is equal to my electrostatic force. Well, for a moving charge, my magnetic force is QVB. And my electric force for a single charge, we go back to our electrostatics equation where they define electric field is force divided by charge. So that means my force is E times Q. So I'm going to put that in here. And notice the size of the charge doesn't matter as long as it has a charge. So I get my velocity depends on B and E and that's it. Now they want to know what the electric field is, so it's already solved for electric field. My electric field will be V times B, and they give you both those things. 1.0 times 10 to the 6th meters per second is my velocity. And my magnetic field is 0 0.65 teslas. And when I work that through, I get an electric field of 6.5 times 10 to the fifth, and the units for electric field are either volts per meter or newtons per coulomb, they're both valid. Now the second part is, what must be the distance between the plate, sorry, if the distance between the plates is 0 0.5 centimeters, what must the voltage be to achieve this? So you'll recall with parallel plates, the electric field can be calculated by using the distance or the plate separation and whatever voltage is actually attached to the plate. So typically you've got a battery or some sort of voltage supply that's attached to the top and the bottom. We're trying to figure out what that voltage is. And if we look at our formula sheet under electrostatics, the electric field for parallel plates can be calculated by going voltage over distance. So my voltage will be my electric field times the separation between the plates. We already know our electric field, 6.5 times 10 to the fifth volts per meter. 
and the distance between the plates is 0 0.5 centimeters, but we need meters out of that. So divide it by 100. And when I work that through, I get 3.3 times 10 to the third volts must be applied across those plates.